enroll your child for the manifested e-learning platform and see their grades grow tremendously. These videos can be downloaded to a laptop for offline viewing or viewed from a smartphone in a course-friendly format. Hi learners, hope you are doing good. Welcome again to Manifested e-learning platform. I'll be a teacher, teacher purity, and I'm still taking you through hygiene and nutrition activities for grade three. We had started on our very first topic on healthy habits, on health practices, and we are going to discuss healthy habits. But for, for the case of this lesson, we are going to learn the importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being. Now, by the end of this lesson, make sure you are able to state the importances of practicing healthy habits which promote our well-being. Welcome to the lesson and hope you are going to enjoy. So, hygiene and nutrition. Our topic is healthy practices. Healthy practices and under healthy practices, we are discussing healthy habits. Healthy habits, where we are now going to find out the importance the importance of the importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being of practicing healthy habits that promotes our well-being. The importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being. That's what we are going to discuss in this lesson. Now, during, during the previous lesson, we were learning about some of the healthy habits that promote our well-being. So before we learn the importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being. Let's remind ourselves the some of these healthy practices that promote our well-being. So, healthy practices. Healthy practices that promote our well being healthy practices that promote our well-being the first one you say drinking clean and sufficient water so drinking Drinking clean and sufficient water. Drinking clean and sufficient water. The word sufficient means enough. We are supposed to take at least eight glasses of water in a day. So make sure that you are drinking clean and sufficient water. Then the second point is eating, eating regular meals. Eating regular meals. You are supposed to take three meals in a day. Take your breakfast in the morning. You take your lunch in the afternoon. And afterwards, you'll take your supper before you go to sleep in the evening. So you are supposed to eat those meals. Don't skip any meal. Make sure that you're taking the three meals in a day. Then the third one, doing regular exercise.
Another one is sitting. Sitting and standing. In the correct posture. Sitting and standing in the correct posture. You are supposed to sit and stand in a correct manner in which that you avoid small accidents which can cause injury. Lastly, wearing clean clothes and shoes. Wearing clean clothes and shoes. Wearing clean clothes and shoes. Clothes cover our bodies and shoes protect our feet. So make sure that the clothes that you are putting on are clean and the shoes that you are putting on are also clean. So these are some of the healthy practices that promote our well-being. Now we want to discuss in this lesson, we want to find out why are we supposed to practice these health practices? Why are you supposed to drink clean and sufficient water? Why are you supposed to eat regular meals? Why are you supposed to do exercises regularly? Why are you supposed to sit and stand in the correct posture? And also, the reason why you are supposed to put on clean clothes and shoes. So the importance, importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being. The importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being. The first one is it promotes good health. So number one, promotes it promotes good health. When you drink clean water, you will have good health. When you do exercise, you will have good health. When you sit and stand in the correct posture, you are also going to promote your health. Now, the second point, it prevents illness. Prevents illness. It prevents illness. Remember that prevention is better than cure. When you drink clean water, you'll not fall sick because you've drunk clean water. Now, that one will have prevented you from falling sick. When you, you do exercises regularly, it is going to make your body to be strong and it will be able to fight against diseases. The third importance where we are supposed to practice these healthy habits is it enhances growth and development. So point number three. It enhances it enhances growth and development. It enhances growth and development. When you do exercises, when you eat meals regularly you are going to grow and therefore you are going to develop into a very strong and healthy person lastly it prevents infection from pests prevents infections infections from pests it prevents infections from pests. Infections can make us infections can make us fall sick. So when you when you practice some of those, all the healthy habits you are going to prevent yourself from infect from infections that are caused by pests. When you drink dirty water, remember you will fall sick. When you put on dirty clothes and dirty shoes, you will also fall sick. So for you to prevent the infections, make sure that you are drinking clean water and also wearing clean clothes and shoes. 
So this is the importance of practicing healthy habits that promote our well-being. The first one, it promotes good health. You'll not be easily attacked by diseases when you practice the healthy habits. The second one, it prevents illness. You cannot easily fall sick. Then the third one, it enhances growth and development, especially when you do exercises regularly. Lastly, prevents infections from pests. So it is very important for us to observe these healthy practices. They promote our well-being. They make us to grow healthy. They make us to grow strong. And therefore, it, it will make us to grow into very active people. Practice these things at home. And also, when you, you have a friend who does not practice all these or the healthy habits, inform the friend the importance of practicing the healthy habits. Tell him or her why he or she is supposed to practice those healthy habits. You give him these reasons. You tell him or her that it promotes good health, prevents illness, it enhances growth and development, and also it will prevent us from in being infected by diseases caused by pests. So I'll, I'll give you questions. Make sure that you are answering the questions. Finish the work. And before you attend the next lesson, confirm that you have finished the work. So the assignment, write down four reasons why it is important to practice healthy habits that promote our well-being. Write for me the reasons why it is important to practice those healthy habits that promote our well-being. Thank you for being good listeners. God bless you. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Have a wonderful moment. Thank you for choosing to study with us. For more information, you can call us on 0724 173845.